Hello once again everyone. I am currently out of town the day that this video goes live, which means unfortunately the Pokemon Go set that has just released is going to have to wait. However, I decided let's go through the Sword and Shield era today and open one pack from the last 10 sets. One from every main Sword and Shield era set. We will Go through them quick here, but I'm going to start with the oldest one, Sword and Shield Base. I'll go all the way till Astral Radiance, skipping the specialty sets, and let's see what we get today as we wait till I return to get into the Pokemon Go set, which seems like a pretty cool set so far. I uh, do look forward to opening it. Four from the back, and let's see what we can get today from our ten booster packs. We have our energy, of course. Salazzle. Hitmonlee, Team Yelgrunt, Moractus, A Sinisty, Score Bunny, Galarian Meowth, Krogunk Reverse, will be a Score Bunny Reverse Hollow, and a Gold Metal Saucer. Well, that is most definitely a good way to start off. First pack, we have a gold card, a little off center. Metal Saucer, not, not too bad. As we move on into our Rubble Clash pack now. Hopefully all the code cards are faced the correct way, but oh well if they don't end up being. We have our Water Energy here for our next pack. Super, or Scoop Up Net. Chadot. Charge Bug. Galarian Corsola. Toxel. Snover. Galarian Mr. Mime. Pidove. Skurskit Reverse. And... A hollow hatchreen. Well, technically two for two. I will be happy if we can get another hit or two, but we shall see. Let's see. Darkness ablaze. Booster pack now. Looks like there's a little bit of damage on some of those uncommon cards, but hopefully the rare and reverse are okay. We got big parasol, shenotic, rose, mel melten, bunnelby, paris. Larvitar, Golet, Clink Reverse, and a Greedent for the rare. Vivid Voltage now here with Celebi. Going to be very tough to beat that gold pull that we have started off the video with. Galarian Stunfisk, Hitmontop, Marg Cargo. Mag Cargo, Electric, Pinnacle, Mudbray, Puchiana, Charmander, Energy Reverse, and Non Hollow Ninjask. So, the new Pokemon Go set, as we get into battle styles, does feature a total of 80 cards, I believe. We got 78 in the main set, and then 12, or no, 88 cards, I believe. 78 in the main set, and 10 secret rares and two alternate arts. That's where I got the 12 from. We got Fan of Waves here, Seedra, Dotler, Yamper, Murkrow, a Salandit, Bellsprout, Mianfu, Reverse, another Energy, Rapid Strike, Reverse, and we do have an Ultra Rare, Rapid Strike, Urshifu V. Chilling Rain now. Then we also have Lost Origin coming up in about two months, the beginning of September. They're waiting a little longer than usual to release that one. Typically the middle middle of August is the release for that type of set, like Evolving Skies was. I think August 27th was actually Evolving Skies, but either way, Lost Origin is coming soon featuring Giratina, as we have Delibird, Larvesta, Haunter Reverse, and Obama Snow Non-Hollow Rare. Now, speaking of Evolving Skies, we got this pack here. I have had pretty good luck with Evolving Skies overall. I'm trying to think. I've pulled maybe four total alternate art cards. Of course, the Umbreon VMAX being one of them. We have our Energy, Ursaring, Crystal Cave, Toy Catcher, Nicket, Dwubble, Rufflet, a Rog and Roller, Wobbuffet, Pikachu Reverse, not bad, and 
Altaria, non-hollow. Final three packs here, Fusion Strike with Genesect. And for those of you unaware, there's the upside down code. This year is the final year for the Sword and Shield era of TCG as we will move into the Scarlet and Violet sets next year. At least that is almost certainly what is going to happen. Typically, each TCG set gets, or series gets three. We have a Reverse Hollow Hauntail and Absalon Hollow. Each uh, TCG series gets three years. Sun and Moon and X and Y, of course, and I believe Black, Black and White was the same. And then they move on into the next era of games and all of that. Well, after starting off with that metal saucer, we haven't gotten anything since. Let's see if Brilliant Stars finally has something for us. We got Clefairy, Cherubi, Ball Toy, Sock, Corefish, Probopass Reverse, and Motham Non Hollow. Wow. All right. Two Ultra Rares, one Hollow so far. Let's see if Astral Radiance can get us at least something. Something, something, something. Just destroyed that pack. Do start off with a V Star Marker. A little bigger than the other cards. Makes it a little awkward to hoard. We got Bronzong, Duat, Yanmega, Puchiana, Glamio, Yanma, Swinub, Nicket. Oh, there we go. Radiant Halucha. I thought the card looked a little off from the corner, but there we go. And. Eighth Weavile, non hollow, but actually do need this Radiant Lucha, even though it is only about a 50 cent card right now. Still, still happy we at least got it, and I can add it to the binder. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back soon with Pokemon Go TCG cards. So crazy that they're real and not just the fake ones. I'll see you guys soon.